Mr. Austin 1998 is going to be episode number four of the random hybrid. If you missed yesterday's upload, that was on Calvin Phillips. And we are back, baby. Today's episode is going to be on the moments. Rude Hullet. Um, he's a, obviously a lone card, but it's got to stage a fee for now. I'll use my lone cards. I've not touched any of these cards. We are going to be playing in friendly, so, so actually, technically, it won't be a game played on him. The reason for being using friendlies personally is because I'm in Division 4 and for whatever reason I get smashed all the time and it's just not good content when you're just getting smashed left, right and centre. Well it might be for you, it doesn't feel very good for me, demoralises me. So I'm going to go with friendlies where I think there's a bit more of a randomicity about it uh, which could be quite fun. But yeah, Rude Hullet's Moments card is going to be for today's episode. It's going to pick two other random players around him. And of course he is an icon. I won't use too many icons in this series going forward, but I will get a couple out of the way early doors just because I want to use these cards at this stage of FIFA, see what they're like, see if I've missed out on anything uh, and whatnot. So of course he is what I would call, I'm going to class him as a midfielder even though he's a centre forward. Um, so we're going to do defender, we're going to do page four, player four. Obviously unless it's an icon, we will take whoever it is. Unless they are stupid money because you've got 260k to work with. Four and four is... Trent Alexander-Arnold, team of the season. He is just in my price range by the looks of it, which isn't, of course, that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll happily use him. So Trent Alexander-Arnold right back. If I can't afford his team of the season, we will just get his regular card. I know that's a shame, but at this stage, I just can't really afford crazy players unless I sell one of my team members, and I don't want to do that just yet. But 4-4 four and four for our forward. That is difficult to say. 4-4 four, four forward. It's going to be none of an an. One, two, three, four. Pedro. We can't have Pedro. Reason for that being, if you don't understand the series, it's a random hybrid where it's got to be three different leagues for the three different players. So we've got the Icon in Hullet, we've got the Premier League already in Trent Alexander-Arnold. So Pedro is unfortunately also a Premier League player. So we can't use him. So we'll try again at four and four. Just up the price range a tad. It might change the, the people on the list. So who's going to be? One, two, three, four. Malin. Interesting enough, he's Dutch, which is of course the same as Rude Hullet, but he's not from the same league, so that, of course he's not an icon, so that's actually quite cool, he's a he's a future star, that's an interesting one, we'll use him, no problem at all, so we've got Malin, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and your boy Rude Hullet in a team, now that doesn't happen often where I get the same nation in one of the picks from a different league, I know of course like I said before, Rude Hullet is an icon, so technically it's, 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 it's still a league, but it's not like an obvious league. Um, so Malin, how do you spell that? E-N is it? Donnell potentially? He was special and he was like 86. Okay, yes, it's only, it's only main special card. We'll put him in the team. And the other player was of course Trent Alexander-Arnold. So yes, yes please. So that was his team of the season, wasn't it, we got? So that is going to be that one, I believe. No, that's the team of the year. Oh, yeah, it's that one. Team of the season. That's not his foot champs card. So we'll chuck him in there. So let's have a little thing what we can do formation-wise with this. My controller's run out of battery again. This is actually the second time this has happened in one of my videos since returning to the YouTube. I've got these little power pack things that you charge up. And I swear to Christ, I might have to get some new ones because he's, he's run out of juice in seconds. Put him back on charge. Hopefully this one has some charge and if not, then, oh my God, we're in for a horrible time. Now let's start things off. What kind of Dutch players are there in the Premier League? I know which now them is the obvious choice. Oh, where am I going? here but I want to see if I can get a link to Malin which is an unusual link. So who have we got Dutch wise? Of course Van Dijk but he's, he's not interesting us because we don't want to go centre back wise. I've not got that card. That would have been a nice one to have actually. He's an SBC for birthday card. I don't have him so we can't actually use him which is a shame. Um, oh, did I just submit that Chong? No I didn't. Interestingly Chong might be an interesting one to use. Ultimate Scream Chong. Um, I'm tempted to do that you know. We could completely kill off the team here with Wijnaldum just sitting here. What's that? As a headliner streak, so I don't even know if I can get that card. What's this? Team of the Year nominee. Looks quite funky. Let's whack our Team of the Year nominee one in there just for a little bit of a different kind of card. So that is, I mean, that's that's all Dutch pretty much, but that is that core of the team done already. That actually is nice because now we can do whatever we want over here. Apologies for my squeakiness of my chair. Holy hell. So let's see what kind of left wings we've got in our club because... I, you know, where I can save coins, I will save coins. We've got Hazard, we've got Adrissi, um, who actually plays in the same league as Malin. So we could breach off there and have a little bit of fun with a red card. I'm tempted to. If I put Adrissi in here, now the problem is I'm going to be going down the Eredivisie link over here, but that's fine. That could be okay. Um, oh, what nationality was Adrissi? Is that Moroccan? 
Let's just have a little look here, ladies and gentlemen. Why not have a little gang, just something different? I think it was Morocco. Got up in Morocco, wasn't it? Team of the season to wrap. Interesting. Interesting. Coins wise, am I looking pretty bleak here? I don't know. Oh, Zayech, of course. Now, Zayech, I don't think I'll be able to afford. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I'm actually tempted to try and use Tarat. I've got Tarat's. Where is it? Cam, I think it is. That one. I'm pretty sure I've got that card. And a lot of people say this one's actually better because he's got the five star skill moves. And apparently. Let's just double check, I might have got this wrong, but this team of season doesn't have 5 star skill moves? No, it really doesn't, which is strange, because he is literally a skiller. We'll whack him in the team for a second, but if I have to use his flashback, I will. Is Morocco anything good for left backs? Oh my god, Akimi, of course. Now, Akimi's um, obviously got a better right back, I think it is, isn't it? Does he play for Dortmund? Yeah, he plays for Dortmund, doesn't he? He's got a team of season right back. Not too sure where to go centre-back-wise now, though, because I've got to go kind of Moroccan again. Um, which actually gives us to this guy, who's a team of the season who I've rinsed into an SBC. So, maybe don't go Morocco there. I kind of have to go Morocco there, though, for Tarant. Damn. Um, left wing back, anyone? Was there any Moroccans in the same league as Tarant? This guy? No, definitely not. And Lazar's not, and Newcastle clearly not the same. Um, I guess Hakimi then will whack in the team. It looks like we're going to have to play a couple of Moroccans here. Maybe we get this centre back, but again, um, I don't know what I'm going to be like for coins, but we'll chuck him in for the time being. What that does open us up to do, I suppose, is go into the French league over here and use a French centre back who gets, sorry, a French league centre back who gets ultimate chemistry of a goalie keeper. That is probably the lot, uh, the where I'm going with this, I guess. Let's have a little set of backs are in the league. We've got Saar. Kind of have to look for a goalkeeper. So I know where I'm going centre back wise. It's got to be an ultimate chemistry link. Obviously, we've got Steve, who's Marseille. Um, not too sure, actually. Looking at the goalkeeper doesn't really help me too much. Let's look at defenders first, I suppose. And of course, we've got Thiago Silva who's Brazilian. Um, can't have him. If I was to have Saar, just for a little bit of fun, is there a French Nice goalkeeper? I think that's Nice. Is that Nice? Yeah, there. Well, there is, but it's him. Um, which is a shame, because that Saar car is actually card. It's actually a really, really good card to use. I've used him quite a bit, but um, haven't used him for a little while because the other defenders have just taken their their toll and just been a lot better. I'm trying to think where I can... I'm not really too sure what old McKemetry goalkeepers I can have. Thiago Silva, is there a... I don't think there is. I could go this guy, I suppose, and Steve, but I think this is going to cost me too much. This is another Future Stars, Kamara. And if we went for Team of the Season, Steve Mandanda, who I did have, but unfortunately I rinsed him into an SBC. We could have that as our team. Now, the interesting thing is, like I said before, it might not be affordable, but I can doll down a few positions if I have to. If I have to. I.e. Trent, I could doll down. Tarabd, I could doll down a little bit, just to afford the team. But that is going to be the team, I think. It looks like quite a fun team. Um... Check everyone's getting chemistry. So we've got the Dutch League, Portuguese League, German League, French League, England League. A lot of the same kind of country. We've got a couple of Netherlands players, four Netherlands players. We've got us one, two, three, four Moroccans, two French and English. So that's not too bad a hybrid at all. I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, we'll go into making a team now. If we have to dole down a couple of positions, apologies for that, but we'll do it. Let's go. See what we can afford. I'll be back in two seconds. See you then. Okay, guys, we are back. As you can see, here is the team in all of its glory. A couple players had to take a hit unfortunately we had to go for the regular um well not the regular sorry the flashback Adele Tarant who actually a lot of people say is the better version of him anyway because of the five star skill moves I'm not particularly a massive skiller though so potentially for me the other one would have been better but we have ran out of coins completely with some of the purchases we had to make another player and take a hit but to be honest looked at it and thought what's the point of paying over the odds for just one rating higher player 
dynamic image when we're going to use him for a game and then sell him potentially. So we went for the regular Wish Nowden. We went for the team of the season Trent though because I thought he's a feature player. He was one of the players who got chosen at random. We can't dull him down so I was going to attempt to, to do him. Uh, we've got all the other ones. We've got this guy in. He cost me 50k though. Honestly thought he'd be quite cheap but of course 89 rated team of the season. They go into the ultimate team of the season SBC. Comes in handy, so his price is probably quite high at the minute purely because of that reason. Because um, I was going to go for his regular card and the future star version of the right centre back, but his regular card's got like 30 pace, so no thank you. So we went for a regular version of him who does have the future star card, but he's still all right player. 70 pace centre back, not crazy good, don't lie about it, but he's all right. Akimi actually cost me nearly 10k for his left back card, nuts, but we went in there anyway. And Steve Mandanda couldn't afford his team this season because again, Huge rating, he costs the bomb at the minute, 700 coins. If you look at my actual coin balance currently, I'm rocking 175 coins to my name. So this is actually my limit for the squad I could have made. So that is absolutely fine by me. It looks pretty decent. We're going to rock the 4-3-3-4 four, three, three, four formation. So Tarabd is going to sit in centre mid. Uh, actually, I potentially might switch them two around in game for Tarabd in cam. Hull it in centre mid. We'll try Hull it in cam for like the first half, maybe then switch it over, see what it's like. But we're going to go into a friendly game, check everybody's on good fitness. Uh, yeah, pretty much apart from the striker, but that's not too not too bad at all. So we're going to go into a friendly game, I'll be right back when we found ourselves on opponents on season 2. Okay, so you found ourselves our opponent, you can't actually see his team again unfortunately. I think that's a stupid stupid rule really, you should be able to see his team. But we'll go into a pause menu and as he does and we'll have a little look and see what he has got. It's a classic match, so bog standard kind of as you are kind of football match, I suppose. Last game in the random hybrid, we won 2 1 from a rage crew. 18 and 5 in this little game mode, which I didn't don't play it too much as you can tell. It's not too many games considering we're in June. But we'll go into it. Not having a clue what this guy's rocking. We will see what this guy's rocking because we've got the ball. So we'll go ahead and have a little gange at the player ratings and boom, this is what he's got. So Right, I'll look at that I don't know, because there's a lot of players there who've got better cards. Is that Adam Ashore's regular card? Is that his team of the season? Is that Nani's team of the season? Is that Ings' special card he got in the SBC? Is that David Silva's new SBC card? Is that a... That's a Paolo Maldini, that is an icon. He's got Ronaldinho on the bench. He's got a very, very... Well, that's a full icon bench, in fact. Probably all loans. He's got Para, who could be a red in form. This could be a fun game. He could be better than me. Let's go, let's do this. Get him on. Trying to feed Rude. And here goes Rude. Oh, it takes it in his stride. Oh, Paro with an absolutely beastly challenge there. That was one of them challenges where you're either going to win the ball and look heroic, or you're going to give away a freaking free kick and a proper potential red card. Here's Wish Nowdham again. This time we have fed Rude. No, we haven't fed Rude. Rude couldn't quite get in behind that one. He's got Hamad in goal. Getting a Paro some chemistry. I did that as well in my foot champs team. It didn't end too well. I'd love to know what kind of cards he has got. Oh, Tarap wins it back. Find space for Hullet. Hullet now feeds it back to Adel Tarat. Let's do some five-star skill moves. Why not? Didn't do any of them. That's not what I wanted. We get it back with Tarat. What is going on here? Who's actually got the ball? He's got the ball. David Silva. Pozzuolo sends it through. And now Danny Ings. Oh, I sent the back to Slug. Oh, my God. Steve, save it, Steve. Steve saves it. Big save for Steve Mandanda. Ball comes back in. Adama Traore over the bar. Big Steve Mandanda comes up. Huge. Regular card. Beast. Let's go. Itchy nose. We're getting it with Nowden. Into Rude Hullet. Malan's gone. If we can feed him, we have fed him. Malan, what can you do? Oh, beautiful play. Oh, again, a par is just everywhere for this guy. Big boy tackle, last second. Malan wins it back. Gives it into Hullet. Back to Wish Nowden. Over it goes on to Adrissi, who hasn't been in this game too much. Only needs a second to come alive. Big tackle again from David Silva. And another huge tackle from David Silva. What an absolutely mental game. He sends the beast that is Adama Traore at pace at right wing. We're in trouble here. Hakimi has got the pace as well, though. This should be a goal for Danny Ings. But he's missed. He's hit the post. Unbelievable scenes here. That should have been 1-0 with this guy. We got lucky there. This guy's stop, stop playing again. Oh, it's good ball to Hullet. Hullet. Feed. No, sorry, that's Chong. This is Hullet. This is rude. That's rude that I called you Chong. Well, that's a free kick, but we'll actually play on. Oh, I wanted to play on, to be honest. Let's just pass this across. Pass it into whoever that is. Let it roll through his legs. Feed the pass on. Who's this? Oh, he's missed. We've hit the post. Who was that? That was a chance. On his left peg. I'm not too sure who that was, but that was a big boy chance. In it goes to Chong. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do, so that ended horrifically. But how we didn't score then, I will never know. I thought that was a definite goal. I'm used to running in with them with Neymar or Messi, and that's going in every day of the week. I'm not too sure we missed that. I have to look back at that at the end of the game. Damn shame. Should be one, well, it should be one all, because he's missed a setter as well. 
Here's Chong now. Oh! Rude to fight! Oh, wait for it! He didn't... He, he didn't use the five-star weak foot. He used his regular foot and shanked it wide. Interesting. Chong with a bat long. Wait, this is this is going to be one of them games, ladies and gentlemen. This is 100% going to be one of them games. Chong is everywhere. What a man. We've got a Drissy now. He's got a pace. Can he beat these players? No, he cannot. And it goes to another pacey bastard in a drama trial rate. Right. Back to Danny Ings. Looking for a return pass, but it wasn't to be. We get the ball with Wiji Naldum. He sees her on a Chong. Chong's gone here. Chong looking for the 1 2. Gets the 1 2. Chong up against your boy, Apara. It's got to be a go! Yes! I think that's Malin with the finish. Beautiful stuff from Chong. I thought Apara was going to hack me out, so I kind of did the ball roll. We get the goal with the future star, Malin. Malan, Malane, Malin. You're going to have to let me know in the comments below. Look at the afro on Chong. That is beautiful seeds. Lovely play from the. The main man through the legs of the goalie keeper. We will take that every day of the week. One nil, get in. Let's go. Sit back. Tarap wants to pull out the skills. Let's go. Not what I wanted, but we'll take it. Here's Malin. Feet. Adele Tarap. Lovely. Tarap! Bang! It's in the back of the net. Future star. No, sorry, that's a flashback. He's not a future star. He's a current star. Is he a star? Who knows? But there he is. Adele Tarap used to be a baller. Is he still a baller? He's balling out right now. It's 2-0. Oh, we should have got the tackle in. Chance! Big tackle, my defender. He's giving the ball away. Referee, that's half-time. So that's half-time. We're leading 2-0. Pretty comfortable in this game. I mean, my opponent has had chances. Apparently, he had more of the ball as well. But not been too much of a threat. He did have a big chance. Should have been. He should have gone 1-0 up. We should have gone one all, And then neither of us scored them. But it's 2-0 now. We've got ourselves a couple of goals. Tarab and Malin, the goal scorers. Fun team so far. We're actually going to switch it up a little bit. And we're going to put Tarab now in the cam position. Even though he has picked up a goal already. It'll be interesting to see what Hullet plays like in centre mid. I've not been massively impressed with Moma's Hullet, to be fair. Some of my other players are outshining him. In particular, Chong. Chong's been fantastic. Adrissi's not been in the game too much. But I do find myself, in the best of times, playing down my right-hand side. But let's go into the second half and let's win this game. We win the ball back. Kamara feeds Malin. Malin now. Adrissi on the overlap. Surely you got the pace. Lovely play from Adrissi. He's round one. Fake shots inside. Gives it. Akimi. Finds. Chong! Oh, wow. Couldn't get the shot away properly with Chong. I probably should have scored there, to be honest, somehow. Oh, no. He's gone tits up. Oh, there's a man mountain. I don't even know his name, but he's a machine. Team of the season. Thank Christ I chose that one rather than his regular card. Wizzy's through. Robinson with the tackle. Who's Robinson? Is he that MLS centre back guy? Who knows? Danny Ings now skins me with pride. Here goes. Oh, it's a chance. It's possible. Oh, it's 2 1. Easy, easy goal for my opponent then. Poor defending. I mean, that's all on me. Can't really complain too much about that. This guy's, I'm pretty sure, got a five star weak foot, so it doesn't matter what side you put him on, he's going to put it in the back of there from that range in particular for sure. Shame. Because now it's very much game on when we really probably should have been freeing him up seconds before. Happens though, doesn't it? Let's go. Come on! I went to Shiv and he just nicked it off me like an absolute bitch. Oh, but Wish now him. Solid in midfield, Wishy. Had a solid, solid game here. Here's a Dressy. Here's Huller. How was your finesse? Is it falling for Chong? No! Apparently Chong can't get penalties. Went down like a sack of shit, but unfortunately, not a pen. Oh, but Malin's nicked in. Oh, Malan! Big save from the goalie keeper. Not too sure what I'm doing with my plays here, to be honest. Should be winning this hard. Here's Chong. In he goes. Chongy boy! Oh, good save from Hamid. Oh, no. Chance for Chong. Should have scored. Yes, let's go. Oh, sugar me, Timbers, Jeffrey. Danny Ings, going to put onto his right foot if he can. Pretty obvious. David Silva, want to put onto his left foot if he can. Falls to Hendo, edge of the box. It's getting absolutely mauled. Big tackle from Kamara. A Delta Rav feeds Chong. Chong's had a solid, solid game. Ah, oh, that's a terrible pass. What the hell is going on here? Malin feeds Adele. Adele, has he got the pace? No, he really hasn't. Has he got the, the willpower to go on? No. But it is... Someone else. Adressy. Surely this time, Adressy, you've been absolutely clinical. It's got to be! It is! It's a sweaty goal! And a Delta Rap picks up his second of the game. Get in! The flashback's doing us proud, at least. 3-1.
Yes, it will be. We'll take the 3-1 win. We had chances to kill that game hard. But we'll take the win regardless. Couldn't quite take my chances. But Chong was solid. Chong had a really, really good game. Malin picked up the man of the match. Two goals for Taraz. Malin, Adressi, Chong, assists. Malin with the other goal. Everyone played really, really well. There's a couple of players which I wasn't too massively impressed with. The centre-back Kamara, of course. Bang average card. He wasn't too great. Um, was really impressed with Chong, though. And he's not exactly like a massive, massive card. Uh, Adrissi was was doing work down the left-hand side, pacey-wise, but wasn't doing too much apart from that. Alexander-Arnold and Hakimi, solid enough left and right back. thought the other centre-back was really good, actually. Decent pace. Decent physical when we needed it. Solid enough. A couple of times was out of position a little bit, but he's not like a 99 rated centre back at the best of times. Steve Mandanda, you get what you get with Steve. 800 coins, no, 600 coins, whatever I paid for him. You're not expecting magic, but he came up trumps for us regardless, made some big saves for us, and uh, got us to W. So we will take that. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, like it would be absolutely fantastic. If you're new around here, don't be afraid to subscribe. I'll catch you next time, and uh, bye bye. Boo! Titties! Let's go, Steve. Steve Mandanda, what a man.